In this final core tutorial video, we're going to look at adding a custom site. To get you started, SiteSet includes half a dozen standard definitions. Consequently, you don't absolutely need to follow this session unless you've got something a little bit special. But even if you haven't, adding a custom definition can be a useful way of tagging the firearm it's fitted to. As usual, we start on the favorite screen, so we'll quickly navigate to the site screen. The first thing that we do is to tap on the plus button. This brings up the add site window. We need to enter the details of the make and model. Now, once again, as with targets, it needs to be a unique name. So if you've two scopes of the same type, you'll just need to be a bit creative with the names that you choose. The next field is the elevation adjustment turret. It really doesn't do anything other than act as a reminder of where the control is located on your scope. So we can just leave it and proceed to set windage and elevation. We'll start with elevation. What we have here are three common types of click setting, inch, centimetre and mower or minute of arc. You can see here that by default the inch table is shown. You can change to metric by tapping on the centimetre segment. So each group pretty much covers the spectrum of settings for scopes from the cheapest to the most expensive. At the bottom of this screen, you'll see that we can tell SightSet which direction the adjustment needs to be turned to move the impact point. These are the typical settings, but it's best to confirm them in the manual that came with your site. Don't worry too much if you get it wrong. When you use SightSet to plot your shortfall, it will become obvious really quickly if you set it up wrong, and you can always go back and edit in any changes. So let's get the appropriate click setting, which for this scope is a quarter inch at 100 yards. Now we've done the elevation, we can do the same for the windage. Now because it's common for most sites to have the same precision horizontally and vertically, site set automatically copies in the values from the elevation setting. If your sites aren't one of these, then you can choose a different click setting for windage. Now we just need to add some notes, up to a limit of about a thousand characters. Now, as I mentioned at the start, it can be quite handy to create your own custom definition, even if it duplicates one of the standard sites, because you can tag it to the firearm that it's fitted to. And there it is at the bottom of the site list. Screens like Sites and Favorites use standard iOS features that you'll already be familiar with to reorder rows, for example, so you can put your favorite sites or favorite, well, favorite favorites at the top of the list. Now that we've created our site, we'll add it to a new favourite. So we'll pick our club target that we defined in an earlier example. We'll pick the range. Our new site. And finally the bullet marker. And now you can breathe another sigh of relief. You've made it to the end of yet another tutorial video. You've seen how to add sites and you've seen how to reorder them. So what's next? Well, that's actually the final core tutorial video. There's no more that you absolutely have to do. But feel free to join me in the next tutorial video, which is about how to reduce target clutter. See you then.